Hey guys, welcome back to Do News. I am your host, King of Do, and I missed you guys. I took the first day off in probably about three or four weeks yesterday. I uh, just needed a night off and uh, went and had some fun and uh, enjoyed the roller coaster ride that was the market as well. I'll be touching base on that here shortly. But just wanted to tell you guys how much I missed all of you. Uh, your guys' comments kept me fueled through the day yesterday, so I appreciate that. Bringing this one to you kind of late, so some of you may not even get this till tomorrow. But um, had a garage sale today. It was a beautiful day uh, here in America. We got a three-day weekend, so you can't blame me, guys. Um, but with that said, I definitely did not stop doing my homework um, I'm enjoying nice weather while reading every little bit of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology news that I can so that I can bring it to you guys. But first things first, I want to say thank you to my friends in Japan. I got my first donation from Japan. Uh, it arrived in my NEM account with a nice thank you note saying thank you from Japan. So I don't know who sent that, but I am so grateful. Thank you very much. Uh, so much respect for you, uh, unbelievable, so thank you. Um, all right, let's get right to it. I've got uh, a couple things I want to go over, but first I want to go over some news that Crypto just announced on his channel this evening. Um, about an hour ago, his video went live, and some of you have probably just got done watching that and are excited to watch this one, and I wanted to actually do a video response um, in regards to uh, basically Coindesk asking him to take down his videos. Um, it's an unfortunate situation for sure, um, and it's sad. Uh, as you guys know, I was giving him huge props, telling you guys to go watch all of his videos. Um, unfortunately, um, they're being taken down, and um, that's not cool at all. Uh, it's very unfortunate that crypto is having to deal with that he's also dealing with the fact that because of it yeah he can't live stream anymore so his uh, privileges uh, were removed because coindesk essentially reported him now the person that reported him um, was probably just doing their job they probably don't even watch crypto don't know who he is know nothing about him etc etc um, and you just kind of just see this guy filming stuff and you know, the guy's got a job to do to try to protect the IP that is Coindesk. With that said, um, Crypto stated that he, he read all the, you know, terms of agreement and policies um, before he recorded. And so he, he tried to do his due diligence, so I don't see him being at fault here. So it's very unfortunate that they weren't able to work with him on that. But I just wanted uh, to give my two cents on that. Uh, crypto is my personal hero for what he did um, him being there inspired me to set the goal to be there myself so um, I'd love to go to the ethereal summit and consensus next year um, and hopefully I can meet up with crypto and we can uh, bring you guys some excellent content maybe do some interviews together too. Uh, maybe set up some round tables with some guys but um, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that those videos had to come down. I hope you got to watch them before they were taken down. The content is of extremely high quality as far as the uh, the people on stage and the information that was shared. Um, I'm disappointed. I watched as much as I could, and some I want to go back and watch again. Um, it's just fuel for the fire. If you uh, you know you're lacking belief right now in what blockchain technology is or uh, what Ethereum can do, or you have questions around the future of Bitcoin. All the answers are in there, and it's just, it's so difficult um, to know that it's not going to be available to a lot of people. Now, it does sound like they may be trying to monetize it or something like that. Uh, Coindesk will be. There may be, you know, some type of paid, uh, you know, wall that you can go through and essentially get the content. So we'll see about that. And uh, if I find out more, I'll share it with you. Um, but my, uh, I feel really, really bad for you, Crypto. Um, hang in there, buddy. It's going to be okay. It's unfortunate, but keep doing what you're doing. We all support you and really appreciate what you're doing. So keep it up, buddy. Um, with that said, also, uh, Crypto, I don't know if you've ever heard of me or watched this channel before, and I don't know if anyone watching this actually knows him, but if you could let him know, um, he is the inspiration for this channel. He's the only reason I did it. I saw what he was doing and um, said, you know, um, that's awesome 
you know he's he's getting into a community um, and being a part of it and getting those connections and investing in future opportunities that can come up and I said you know what I believe in this technology it's the space I want to be in someday it's gonna change the world it's much more innovative than just e-commerce is you know e-commerce is innovative in and of itself it's only it's not even 20 years old really um, but uh, I keep asking myself man in 20 years what will what will this be what will what will um, platforms like ethereum or NEM and all these other uh, side projects will, will golem come into existence will they finish the project and I ask myself those questions and I, it's just so exciting there's so much opportunity um, if just one if just one of all the technologies that I cover on this channel we talk about all these blockchain technology if just one is successful um, it, it, the world may never be the same um, you know there's there's all kinds of new technologies that we take for granted today that we don't even realize um, concepts like cloud com cloud solution concepts and things like that we just take it for granted maybe you don't mess with that in your personal life or, or in your job but um, it's completely changed the business world um, and really really uh, planted itself as a core solution uh, for businesses around the world and I think that um, there's a lot of these technologies where one of them will be that someday. So it's really exciting. So anyhow, all that being said, I just wanted to make sure you know, Crypto, that uh, you're my inspiration. I really appreciate you and the things that you do. Um, and I will always give you all the credit. So appreciate you, buddy. Uh, keep up the good work over there and don't give up. So, all right, next. I've got something I wanted to read to you guys because a lot of you guys were asking questions about my last video and I started talking about Elliott waves and um, essentially the concept of how uh, markets kind of move in waves and um, so that again the name of that is called an Elliott wave I didn't even uh, talk about it much last time because I wasn't really prepared to talk about it with you guys but I kind of wanted to go over Elliott wave with you um, and just kind of read to you straight from Investopedia because you know it's probably better written, better said than I could come up with. Um, and I think it was a good job of laying out uh, the history of the wave and exactly what it is. So let me share this with you because I think it's really important, um, especially in the turbulent market times that we're in, that um, you kind of, if this is your first time doing investing, maybe, this is definitely uh, your first time investing in startups this early. <laughs> Uh, here in America, it definitely was never really um, not available to the average person. It's uh, a com completely crazy system that we have here. Um, we did have a new law actually come into effect in the last year where um, now the average person can actually like invest in startups and there's some ways to actually do that now. Um, but for a long, long time, it was basically reserved for the rich. So basically, uh, that opportunity was taken away from, I don't know, 99% of Americans. And so um, we have that back now um, here in America. We now can, we can actually do that. And that's actually new. It's so new, in fact, that those opportunities are very limited. There's a few different websites. One that I recommend is WeFunder. WeFunder basically um, is startups that you can go and you can invest with as little as $100 into a brand new company. You actually essentially get a stake in the company. Um, so that's kind of cool. Just something that you should be aware of. But cryptocurrency has actually made it available to everyone in the world. Like, I don't think you guys quite understand how revolutionary it is, but um, it's a huge deal. Now, it doesn't matter who you are or even how much money you make or what you do for a living. All of that is set aside. For, like, we finally have uh, a platform for... Um, both investors to raise money quickly and then for us the average person to to contribute so that's exciting um but coming back to the Elliott wave so here we go um ralph and nelson elliott developed the Elliott wave theory in the late 1920s by discovering that stock markets thought to behave in a somewhat chaotic manner in fact traded in repetitive cycles so if this is your first time going through this, guys, um, and you feel like this is chaotic, um, that's expected it, uh, to the to the average person that's just getting into this market. You know, yesterday Ethereum was at 120, 
now it's it now it just touched 180 um, we saw Bitcoin get into the 1900s it just touched 2300 massive swings complete chaos um, I will say that this market in particular probably has more chaos than any other markets that you'll find but um, still chaotic uh, unless you actually um, look at it from a technical mathematical perspective so and that's essentially what Elliot did so Elliot discovered that these market cycles resulted from investors reactions to outside influences or predominant psychological uh, behaviors of the masses at the time he found that the upward and downward swings of mass psychology always showed up in the same repetitive patterns which were then divided further into patterns he called waves um, I think we take for granted all the technology we have, but, you know, he was doing this in 1920s, so he's probably doing all this by hand. No, he, yeah, no, he's definitely doing it all by hand in 1920, <laughs> where he's actually um, creating the lines that you take for granted on your stock markets, like ticker screens, right? Um, and he was the first to kind of see these waves um, and create theories around them. So way ahead of his time, right? So, Elliott's theory is somewhat based on the Dow theory in that stock prices move in waves because of the fractional nature of markets. However, Elliott was able to break down and analyze them in much greater detail. Fractals and mathematical structures, which on an ever smaller scale infinitely repeat themselves, Elliott discovered that stock trading patterns were structured in the same way. So, he basically realized that the up and downs um, happen in short term, micro term, like really micro term, and super long term. Market predictions based on wave patterns. Elliott made detailed stock predictions based on unique characteristics he discovered in the waves. An impulse wave, which goes with the main trend, always shows five waves in its pattern. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. When I was talking about how we're in a bull market, um, we're in an exciting space, a new, a new technology, new sector, um, there's actually five waves in that pattern. And I was talking about how the fifth wave, you actually see 90% of the gains happen in that fifth wave out of all the other waves. Try to do that math in your head based on where we've just been in the last month, right? So... On a smaller scale, within each of the impulse waves, five waves can again be found. In this smaller pattern, the same pattern repeats itself um, infinitely, essentially. Uh, these ever smaller patterns are labeled as different wave degrees in the Elliott Wave Principle. Only much later were fractals recognized by scientists. So basically, he's just a dude that was way ahead of his time, doing some very advanced mathematics for his time. Um, and that's pretty exciting. So um, in the financial markets, we know that every action creates an equal and opposite reaction. So that is a law of the universe, essentially. And uh, so the, they, you know, it's believed that, that that same concept applies in uh, financial theory, essentially. So um, in the financial markets, we know that every action creates an equal and opposite reaction as the price movement up or down must be followed by a contrary movement. Price action is divided into trends and corrections or sideways movements. Trends show the main direction of prices while corrections move against the trend. Elliott labeled these impulsive and corrective waves. All right, so that's what I was talking about um, in my last video when um, technically speaking, it's better for us if we actually have these corrections. I know Crypto was talking about earlier. He says, you know, he calls it the uh, the gas for the rockets um, and that's a great way to put it because um, we're going to the moon <laughs> um, to the moon um, sorry guys that one's for you Mike um, so we're 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 essentially doing a correction right we needed that correction the fact that we had such a ramp up was kind of like there was just so much stupid money in the market guys I, I, I showed you guys con a proof of that many times over we continue to see proof of that in the types of types of coins that are basically way overpriced and money's pouring into. You know, you guys hear all the time people are accidentally buying Ethereum Classic still. 
it's like someone said buy Ethereum and that's what they bought. <laughs> like that's, you know what I mean? It's like, hey, grandma, buy Ethereum. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know. So, anyhow, um, that's where we're at right now in the market, guys, is we're having that correction pullback. It's a good thing. Um, you know, we're really finding out the true price, right? So we, we came all the way back down on Ethereum, for example, to like 120 and we saw uh, Bitcoin come all the way back down to about 1900 um, I technically would have liked to have seen Bitcoin come all the way down to 1700 um, because according, based on the Elliott Wave Theory, that actually would have been a better uh, correction. It would have been more sustainable, more... Um, it would have been more fuel on the rockets, higher quality fuel than what we hit. But... Um, Today we saw all the markets essentially recover. Things are normal. So if you sold or you panicked or you did some crazy trades, you probably lost a little bit. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you put your money into safe havens. Uh, hopefully you set your stop losses and things like that, and that's good. So I do encourage that a lot on my channel. So if you were safe and you kept kept your money, that's good. But, you know, I saw people that lost everything that they earned in the entire last wave, guys. Um, also, you know, we're having these drastic market moves because people are shorting when they shouldn't be. This is a bullish market. And that's how come when we hit like 120, we bounced so hard. And here we are back at 180. And a bit, essentially, um, people are just taking out massive loans essentially to try to uh, predict the market and when you predict wrong they actually lose all their money and someone else gets all of it right so uh, that's why you have these huge swings because um, it's kind of like you went and uh, got a giant loan and went to the casino and rolled it on roulette um, and you lost it all in one roll and the casino wins in the long run, right? Same concept. The market always will win in the long run. Don't 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 day trade um, unless you have lots of experience and you know technical analysis or you're studying it or learning it. Or if it is something you've always wanted to do, you have a set aside set of money just for that. That's okay. Um, I wanted to share a strategy that I do right now um, during these times, um, and uh, I don't I don't have a name for it. But essentially, when we have these pullbacks, I don't know if we're gonna go lower. But what I do know is the price was better than yesterday, right? So it's on sale. It's kind of like you know how you like you you go Christmas shopping and everything's on sale, and then once Christmas time's over, is like things really go on sale so I'm always worried about that you know like well maybe I'll come back later and you probably feel that way and you have anxiety about you don't want to have buyers remorse etc the best advice I can give you guys is to just sprinkle your buys and so um, I don't I don't know what your portfolio is but when I say sprinkle buys I'm like when there's a pullback I don't know one to five percent of your portfolio just sprinkle it out a little bit maybe um, today I probably did about two percent of just oh piece of candy oh piece of candy like I'm talking like really small little buys guys like you know maybe like a hundred of this thousand of this like um, which isn't a lot because most of the stuff you know we're talking about is in uh, nickels and dimes and dollars so just just little buys just kind of increasing my stake you know, because if it goes down more tomorrow, I'm gonna buy some more, a little piece, a little piece of candy more, right? Um, yeah. But if we go up, I'm not, I'm not having any regrets because hey, at least I bought some lower. I got something on sale, um, and uh, that's usually the best way to kind of build up. If you put all your money in all at once, um, that that's challenging. It it, it it's hard psychologically to to uh feel, to not have remorse or or panic when the when there's corrections because you know just like i was talking about with elliott waves i don't care what you buy in at but there's a 
there's a 50% chance it's going to go down afterwards and a 50% chance it's going to go up. And uh, that's just what's going to happen. You can't predict it. You can't time the market. You just need to buy when it's on sale, right? Um, I really, really wish sometimes that like cryptocurrencies and stocks, we could just, I wish it was like a mall because then I think that people would uh, do a lot better job <laughs> uh, buying and investing because if you could just tangibly see it and I don't know. Anyhow, all right, guys. Well, that's pretty much all I got for you. Um, let me see. I wanted to talk about some ICOs coming up. So you guys are going to want to make sure that you uh, subscribe to this channel. We have uh, three, uh, three or four ICOs this week. Um, of course, we have Basic Attention Token. If you haven't seen my Basic Attention Token uh, five-part series, uh, at the end of this video, you'll be able to actually see that pop up. You can click on that and watch that. That will give you uh, my professional opinion. I am a e-commerce digital marketer. As a, that's my profession. Um, and so I actually know more about um, that coin in particular just because I understand both the publisher side, the user side, and the advertiser side. So I guess I know all three uh, pretty well. And uh, check it out. Definitely worth uh, the time. I spent a lot of time on those. There's probably about an hour to hour and a half of content there on this ICO to help you decide whether or not you should invest. Um, with all investments, though, do your own homework. Don't do what I tell you to do. Um, go do your own research. But there's uh, there's some other ones coming out, too, and I wanted to go over those uh, in some upcoming videos. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of homework on each. Um, there's uh, Mysterium. And essentially, that's like decentralized, like internet access, like you can lease out your router. Um, uh, I need to do more homework on that one, but it seems kind of like far fetched when I first look at it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna deep dive that one um, in the coming days. I'll be spending some time tonight and tomorrow looking at that one, uh, just because it's a fascinating concept. Um, I like it because it's definitely um, helps me dream of the future. I like that one a lot. Uh, that one's going to be on Thursday next week. We got Basic Attention Token on Wednesday next week. Uh, Patientatory. Okay, Patientatory. It's really hard to say. Patientatory is a, basically a healthcare solution, basically with health records and things of that nature. Um, they partnered with Kaiser Permanente. And if you don't know who that is, they are a huge, massive player in the healthcare space. Um... And so that one's actually very intriguing to me. Um, I actually sent the white paper to my wife to, to take a look at because she works at, at one of the largest hospitals in the area um, and knows lots of people who either have worked at Kaiser or are going to go over to Kaiser at some point. And it's just kind of like um, if you're in healthcare, you know, that community like one, you know, if you're if you're like a nurse or a doctor, you're just kind of part of this community and um and she's in that community, and like she knows, she knows a lot about these things, and so um, I'm letting her teach me some things about that world because it's definitely not my expertise whatsoever. Uh, healthcare, I know, is a huge deal. I believe that America, we spend one third of our GDP on healthcare. That's a massive number, and so anything that even is a small solution could be a multi-billion-dollar solution, <laughs> like. Um, so that's exciting. Um, so that one's, that one we'll be taking a look at soon. Bancor protocol. So I did a bunch of work on Bancor and, um, after doing all the work on Bancor, then we have the prism announcement. And I guys, when I went over prism with you recently, um, and essentially Bancor is a kind of a similar concept. Um, if not the exact so i don't know if they'll do it better i don't i don't know what that's going to be like competition wise but um just just keep that in mind guys uh that b b when you're looking at bancor you got to understand that there's other people in the space already trying to do similar things i'm not going to sit here and say they're the same thing but they're 
pretty similar. So make sure you guys do your homework on what other potential competitors are out there. And I think that's super critical for all your investments, guys. Right now, there are a lot of storage options out there. I hear a lot of people talking about, oh, Cycoin, and I'm like, oh, I like Cycoin too, but I also like their other three or four competitors. Have you checked those out? And they're like, no. <laughs> you should probably go look at all the competitors before you make your decision. If you believe in the technology just as a concept, just invest in each one equally. That's my best advice, um, if that's what you truly believe. So maybe some of you will be investing in Bancor because you believe that there's a good opportunity there. Um, it, it doesn't appear that we're going to be able to actually get tokens, a token sale for Prism, um, which is, uh, again, that's, uh, in case you didn't see in a video before, Shapeshift. Um, which is a site where you can uh, essentially send in your uh, currency and they send back a currency. It's like an exchange in a way. Um, but basically what they did is the concept of both of them is that you can now send in, for example, Ether or Bitcoin and instantly have like a portfolio. Like you get to decide in advance. You can actually build your own portfolio. So essentially you go on there and you're like I want these 10 coins but I only want to spend one Bitcoin right so you want to spend about two thousand dollars and that's it um, you can actually choose your diversification and send it in and it's all ran on like a smart contract um, and it's really cool anyhow check those things out um, those are my recommended things to take a look at this week because we'll be talking about them from time to time and touching on them as they get closer um you guys just make sure you guys are in the know don't get caught up in the hype um don't forget that 95 to 99 percent of all startups fail and every single one of these are a startup so you, you you're basically either a genius and are extremely good at dissecting investment opportunities or you have enough money that you're going to equally invest in a hundred ICOs. Think about it. Like that, that's technically the statistics that you're up against, guys. Uh, the number of garbage coins out there right now is unreal. I was just watching a video earlier by a guy that was doing a great job on talking about um, transparency and who the dev teams were, things like that. And there are so many coins out there that you guys are buying where no one actually on this planet knows who's working on it. Like, it's like they don't have a name. That should be concerning a little bit. I hope it's concerning. Um, I would tell you right now, if you have an investment and you can't go find out who's, who's doing it, drop it. That's my best advice. Drop it and just buy something that you believe in and you know who's running the show. That's really important, guys. That's some, that's, that is uh, the best advice the King of Do can bring you today. So, all right, guys. I'm going to wrap this one up because I want to do more research and homework for you guys. So, again, subscribe to the channel. Go down to Steemit and follow me on Steemit. I'm almost at 100 followers, guys. Please help me get there. And if you're not on Steemit, I don't know what you're doing. You're crazy. It's like It's totally free cryptocurrency you could exchange it on an exchange and buy uh, different currencies that you like if you don't like steam it but i i sent over to my buddy a, a screenshot i was like dude why aren't you on this yet he's into cryptocurrency and i know he's got a uh, a password and a login but he's just not on it and i just don't understand it because i showed him i was like dude i made like a hundred dollars like just upvoting stuff like <laughs> Like, it's real money, guys. Um, and uh, anyhow, so that's really cool. I also, um, I'm super excited because I just um, reached uh, super user level on there, um, which if you don't know what that means, essentially there's different statuses you can reach on there. And I'm really excited about it. Um, and I have goals to, to go up to the next level. Um, and I need your guys' help. So make sure you go over to Steam it. Give me some votes and... Just sign up on Steam it. It's just it's really cool. If you guys like Reddit, you're gonna love Steam it because it's everything Reddit has, but better because everyone there is into cryptocurrency. 
and everyone there is breaking the latest and best news. Like, maybe you guys hear me talk about things, and you're like, I didn't hear about that. I'm finding it on there, guys, and I'm bringing you the news, for, right? Like, I'm just bringing you what I'm learning from the community. You want to be a part of this community? That's where the community is. Like, for real. Um, that's where they are. It's really cool because you get everything from the average day person to some of the smartest people I've ever seen in my life, dude. It's like blows my mind sometimes. Like, especially when they start talking about some cryptocurrencies and how they work on the back end and stuff. I'm just like, well, I have no idea what you're saying, but I'm going to upvote you because that is some serious in-depth knowledge of what's going up here. So anyhow, okay. So give me a like and all that good stuff, guys. I appreciate you so much. Thank you again for the donations. Thank you again um, for for all the support and all the kind words. You guys are like crazy nice. You guys are too nice to me. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. Anyhow, I missed you guys. It's good to be back. I'll be bringing you more videos all weekend long. I got a long weekend, so you'll get some more of the of the do this weekend. So um, appreciate you. Hope you guys have a good night, and I'll see you soon. And as always, I am the king of do. May the force be with you. Good night.